everybody and welcome to another edition of a chapter a day keeps the doctor away my name is alan otherwise known as he sweet and i'm from reversethieves.com as well as the speakeasy podcast and this time i'm looking at hayate the combat butler chapter 440 i want to meet ikachan at the beach actually i want to meet ikachan no matter where it is and this is the big 10th year anniversary chapter of Hayate and they don't go on their normal little digression into like a one shot it's a continuation of this arc where they're looking to find Hayate's brother but uh there is uh, a little chapter encouraging kids who are about to graduate as well as uh, a big color spread with the grown-up Athena and Hinegiku. So a lot of color pages for everybody to kind of enjoy, but uh, not the normal, you know, crazy dalliance chapter. Although there is a, a bit of service, I think, uh, for the anniversary. But uh, right off the bat, the title of the chapter um, shows very unsurprisingly that uh, Kenjuro Hata the artist is a big Ika Musume or Squid Girl fan. So they're at the beach looking at cafes. So of course Ika Musume is going to come up. In fact, if you look when they're talking about uh, how the beach is famous for all the squids and people are over hunting the squids in the area. And if you look in the bottom left hand corner, you will notice Ikamusume and the rest of the main cast working uh, one of the little cafes there. So another little twing to Squid Girl. Uh, definitely something that will go in my new Hayate panel this year. Because that's just a fun show and uh, an easy little reference to put in. But... This is not talking about Squid World. This is talking about the search for Hayate's brother. Where we got a bum bum bum. Who is this woman? And we don't really find out who she is. They basically ask her what happened to the beach house. And she's like, oh, that cafe, it was always the red. So, uh, of course, once it got you know damaged in any way, they went out of business. And, the, and they're all like, well, where's the guy with the cross-shaped scar who used to work there? And she's like, he's probably over a bum, bum, bum. And it's an employment building, you know, like a job center. And when they turn around, she's gone. And they're like, well, that was generally unhelpful. Yeah, that was not a clue at all. And they all leave. And I'm generally wondering if, it was actually like a really good clue that they're all just dismissing. And, you know, generally when they go back, they're like, yeah, I spend every day trying to get a new job at that employment center. Or, yeah, my part-time job is there. Now that the cafe is closed, and they'll all be like, ah, we could have just gone there, first of all. That was actually a good hint. But that is the Hayate way. So they all go back to the hotel and tell Hayate that basically it was a bust, that the cafe is basically in pieces and no longer, you know, probably never going to open again. And nobody knows from asking around where that guy has gone. So Hineki, not Hinegiku, Nishizawa's like, don't worry, I've got a secret weapon. And they're all like, oh man, what's your secret weapon? And then it turns out that it is just her in a swimsuit. And she's like, well, our backup plan was if it didn't work out, well, for all of us to have fun at the beach. And obviously, everyone's like, whatever. I guess we should have fun. And so everybody, meaning all the girls, dress up in their little character-appropriate swimsuit. And we get a few pages of just them frolicking on the beach and so and of course Hinegiku shows her Hinegiku Moe by wearing a jacket so I think her not showing 
her swimsuit is actually more appealing to Hina fans than actually seeing her in the swimsuit because it gives them the oh I'm so embarrassed my way. But after they talk a little bit about the octopuses, which will probably come into play because Nagi steps on an octopus and Hayate is playing with their octopus. So, I mean, they're bringing up these octopuses a lot. There's obviously something going on with them. But Chiharu is all like, so when are you going to make your move on Hayate? I mean, it's the beach. You're both not wearing a lot. You know, you could go for it. And Hinegiku's like, well, why don't you go for it, Miss Amulet to Hayate? And she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. But what I could kill two stone birds with one stone by A, hitting on Hayate and totally messing with Hinegiku. And B, which is just fun because... Hinegiku was just fun to mess with. And B, she might actually be prompted to say something as opposed to... What was that? You know, translated, Hayate, I love you, but what you guys... She's like, maybe she'll actually, you know, do something if, you know, there's actually a legitimate rival. And so she goes running off to hit on Hayate and Hayate is just looking at a little octopus that washes up on shore and then as he's like maybe you're looking for someone too Mm. someone's behind him like put down that octopus or you're going to die which is like weird and even the little side banner is like yeah this isn't a hard decision you just Put down the octopus because it's not really worth your life. So, kind of a weird place to have a dramatic pause. Because even the even the chapter sidebar is like, yeah, I don't know why we think this is dramatic because it really isn't. And so I'm wondering if with Hinegiku and Chiharu running around trying to basically you know, confess to Hayate. I'm wondering if someone is eventually going to fall into the water and start drowning, and that's when Hayate's brother will pop up to save them. Or if it's going to be somebody else from Heroes of the Sea Lifesavers that pops out to save them, and then we'll meet Hayate's brother through them eventually. Because I'm thinking... It seems a little too early for them to meet Hayate's brother. So I'm thinking somebody else from the cast is going to try to save whoever falls in the water. Because I just, someone's going to fall in the water. They're on the rocks, away from the main beach, in just a matter of time. Plus, you know, it gives you some CPR jokes. So I'm thinking somebody's going to fall in the water. But yeah, this just seemed to be... Mostly a chapter about Ikamu's Squid Girl references and people in bikinis. I mean, there is a little bit of setup. Obviously, that woman in the hat is going to come back and be important. Obviously, the squids are important. Obviously, them being about around the beach will let them run into other Heroes of the Sea, Lifesavers characters, and eventually Hayate's brother. But, uh... Mostly, it just seems to be about the swimsuits. But, you know, that's a 10th anniversary episode for you. So, lots of fun. Glad to see it's back from break. Ready to see who this mysterious figure behind Hayate is. Uh, It might actually just be someone we already know messing with him. But, we shall see. Alright guys, see you guys next time.